WIF constantly talks about a three pillar strategy for empowerment of women. Now, at these three pillars, self empowerment sits at the very heart. To self empower a person, the first step is self awareness. To self aware, you need to do two things. First, identify and understand who you really are. You can do a simple SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats analysis to identify and understand who you really are. Then the second part is the most difficult part. That is to figure out the purpose of your living. The purpose of your living will tell you why you are in this world. Every one of us has a purpose. We are here to serve something. So figure that out. Once you figure that out, that can be converted or articulated into the vision of your life. Once you have a vision, it gives you direction. It gives you um, a dream to pursue. It also helps you to plan your life. If you don't have a plan or a vision in your life, your life becomes like a kite without control. So every wave that comes, every wind that comes, you'll be blown away. And also there is a very high risk. That is people with plans will use you to build their plans, to realize their plans, to make their visions come true. So you'll be used. So don't be used. Invest time. Now, this is stay at home time. So invest this time wisely to figure out the purpose of your very existence. That is your first step towards self-empowerment. To do this, this is, I told you this is very, very difficult. It takes time. It takes a lot of energy. And it, it actually requires you to focus. But to help you with this, let me teach you a small technique. Now, this technique is something that is unique to me, that I have found, that I've used, and that has given me good results. And I've also used this on my mentees. I've also used this with my students, participants, and um, uh, with uh, some of the clients that I work with. It has really worked for me. Right, here goes the technique. Now, just imagine, you all know about Genie, Genie from Aladdin's uh, fairy tale. Just imagine, um, one day, Jeannie appears in front of me and says, Saroshi, you have been a great girl, a good girl, and I am going to grant you a wish. But this wish is only one wish. And you can ask me for anything. But this wish comes with three conditions attached. Number one, with, you have only one wish, and with one wish, you can ask for more wishes. Second condition it has to be a very specific uh, thing that you ask. It can't be um, general or generic. It can't be vague. So you have to ask for something very specific. Number three, you can't ask for end results, meaning um, uh, you can't ask for name, fame, glory. You can't ask, ask for a PhD. You can't ask for like uh, power. Those are end results. They come as a result of a process. So you can't ask for end results. The reason why he says you can't ask for end results is because end results, if you ask for end results, there is a sustainability issue. You can't sustain those without the process. So you've got to go through a process to get to these end results. So Jeannie says, I will grant you a wish, but under these three conditions. Only one wish, don't ask for more. Be very specific. Number three, don't ask for end results. So under these three conditions, you got to figure out, you got to ask Genie for that one wish. If you can figure out what you're going to ask Genie for, that will get you into the mode of figuring out the purpose of your life. So people, please invest this stay at home time effectively, efficiently, figuring out the purpose of your very existence. And that will help you form your vision.